Hello, my name is Mohsen. In this video, I'll be showing you how to re-level the motors on your AG230. Go ahead and unplug both tanks by undoing the tubing from the top and bottom. Unscrew the waterproof connector for the empty tank sensor and remove the tanks. Open up all eight arms, lock in the elbow joints all the way in. Remove the rubber bands from the propellers. Unscrew the four screws holding the plastic cover in place. When you remove this, be careful because the vertical OA radar is plugged in. You're gonna have to unscrew this waterproof connector as well and unplug it to set it free. You'll have to make some room on the top plate here for your digital level. One of these is provided in your toolkit or you can purchase it on Amazon or a hardware store. Most likely you'll have to unplug the cable from the RFD and HDMI cable if present. Sometimes there will be a buzzer here. You can use a putty knife to undo the double-sided tape to remove that. Place your digital level here and hit zero to zero it out. This is a very important step. You're going to have to replace the level four times for each of the four directions. As is right now, that can be used to level just these front two motors, motor one and motor five. To do that side, you'll have to replace the level and hit zero again, and then repeat the process for all four sides. For this demonstration, we're gonna go ahead and do these front two motors. Motor one here is a counterclockwise motor, and this new procedure involves turning it one degree off intentionally in the same direction as the orientation of the motor, which in this case would be counterclockwise, so turning to the left. Once you've confirmed this level is zero, place it on the motor and turn it until you see one degree on the level. To the left. All right, go ahead and tighten the four screws that hold the motor in place. It's recommended to do this in a crisscross pattern. Once you have tightened all four screws, you will have to reconfirm that the motor is still one degree off to the left, the same direction as the orientation of the motor. Remove the level. And now you can lock tight the screws. I recommend removing them one at a time. Unscrew, take the screw out, apply blue Loctite and run it back in. Repeat this procedure in a crisscross pattern until you have applied blue Loctite to all four screws. Once again, confirm your motor is still one degree off in the counterclockwise direction. And then go ahead and torque these four screws to four Newton meters. Reconfirm the motor level. And as long as that still reads one degree, we can go ahead and move on to the next motor. Place the level back on the top plate, make sure it still reads zero degrees. Place it on your motor. Make sure you've already loosened up the four screws here. This is a clockwise motor, so you will be tilting the motor one degree to the right. Go ahead and tighten these screws. Once they're hand tightened, you can remove them one at a time to apply blue Loctite, and then repeat the same steps, torque them to four degrees. After you have torqued both of these motors and leveled them, go ahead and repeat the step for the other side. We're gonna place our level here, make sure it's flat, zero it out. And this time we are leveling motors three and motor eight. Motor three is a clockwise motor. So once again, you're going to be turning it one degree clockwise, which is to the right. Once you've confirmed that, go ahead, tighten the screws, torque them, repeat the process for motor eight. This is counterclockwise. This will be turned to the left one degree. And then go ahead and repeat that for all eight motors. Make sure to level all eight motors one degree in the direction of thrust. 
clockwise motors one degree to the right in the clockwise direction, counterclockwise motors one degree to the left in the counterclockwise position. Replace your HDMI cable, the RFD cable, and the buzzer if removed. Plug back in your vertical OA radar. Place the plastic cover back on the drone. Replace your tanks and you are all good to go. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Mosin. If you have further questions, you can find our contact information in the description. Have a wonderful day.